Espresso leaves are just the worst. They sound huge and hard to design, but today I'll show you how it really is. And to understand hard cell sound design, there's only one real concept you need to understand. You want to create a pure and stable tone, either with detune for your hypersauce or with a bandpass with some resonance for your top leads. And after that, all you need to do is just put an LFO on the pitch to make it scream. So let's put it to the test and we'll start off with a top lead. For the top lead, we'll first choose a waveform or maybe a wavetable from Serum. You try to get a stable sound by using a bandpass filter with some resonance and adding distortion on top of that. For silent it's easy, just take the clip distortion and for serum you can use either zero square or diode. And now all we need to do is put a little envelope on the pitch so that it moves either up or down as we play the note. And then we'll put an LFO on the pitch. And now it's time for the hypersol. And for the hypersol, we basically need to do the same, but we need to make a stable sound by using detune. So get your saws and start tuning them. Now when you found a stable detune, put a little envelope on the pitch again and start LFOing the pitch as well. And now after we've made our first hypersol for the top lead, we make another one and put some oscillators one octave higher. Please note that you don't copy the same hypersol preset because that's gonna make your detune sound too similar. So if you did these three sounds correctly, you should already have a really fat sound for your melody. Right now, let's just continue with the chords. And basically, chords are just the same as hypersols, but they have chords in there, of course. Of chords. So when you feel that you have a nice sound for the tuning of your chords, put a little envelope on the pitch to make it move in each start of the note. And then put an LFO on the pitch to make it move a little bit more. And now for the chords as well, we basically repeat this process, but add some oscillators that are an octave higher so that we get a fuller and bigger sound. And then the only different type of lead that we need to create is the warm chord lead. Basically the warm chord lead is still some sols and a different waveform. So maybe a triangle, maybe a sine, just something different. And we only take about five voices and start detuning this so that it's nice and warm, but not too detuned and will mess up your stereo image. And then we add a little envelope on the pitch to make each note move and we add some LFO to just make the whole sound move a little bit more and sound nice and warm. And now that we've done our sound design, all we need to do is just balance and EQ our leads. And the real tip I can give is just keep it simple. Let me show you how I do that. And to mix down our leads, we'll start off with the top lead first. And we just put that to a volume that's nice and not too loud so that we already start clipping. Then we add our hypersolves from our melody. We route those three sounds, so our top lead, our low hypersol and our high hypersol to a bus. And on this bus we can put OTT to just make it a little bit louder and a little bit more in your face. Yeah. 
Then we do our chords. Let's just put each layer to a different mixer channel. Start EQing that. Basically just a low cut is enough on all these layers. Then we add our warm chord and put the balance of the volume in the right spot. And now you can route all your chords and your top lead to one bus and you should have a nice and full sounding lead that's ready to get some reverb on there. And that was all for the mix. I suggest you check out this video to see how I put my reverb on my leads. And right now let's just check the end result. And that was all for today. Hopefully you liked it and learned something from this. And I'll see you back soon again. Cheers!